Yo, what's up guys? We're back, straight after the last video. Um, I've done absolutely no preparation for this whatsoever, but this is literally spur of the moment. I know I'm going to do a speedflip tutorial very soon, but I thought that might require a bit more like preparation, so... I'm going to make a tutorial on sort of general advice for you guys to get a lot better at 3v3. So this is going to be a video for how to improve your 3v3 game as the most fastest way you've ever seen in your life. You're going to get so much better at 3v3 from some general points of advice. Okay, so I'm gonna break this video down into a couple parts. Parts of this video, we'll talk about boost management, really essential for 3v3. We'll talk about rotating out the play, and we'll talk about sort of back post rotations and using, using momentum to your advantage. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the most important concept for all of 3v3 guys is as soon as you hit the ball, see I just hit the ball, you want to rotate out the play. So, rotations aren't a set, like, it's not a set exact thing that you have to do, if you, if you know what I'm saying. This, this scrum replay is like two weeks old, by the way. So, you know, rotations aren't like set in stone, is what I'm saying. Rotations are fluid, it just depends. So, the most important concept in the entirety of 3v3 to understand is that once you have interacted with the ball, once you have touched the ball once or twice or three or four or five times, once you feel like You've made your mark and you don't you don't need to be in the play anymore you want to turn out you want to leave the play so most this is the first tip of the game the first tip guys always rotate out the play as soon as you've done what you needed to do done your task done your job we'll try and find some examples here that was a nice goal by them that was a nice goal this is from like two weeks ago so like doesn't the results don't matter none of this matters you know what i mean so it doesn't matter that we beat them in this game, it genuinely doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll just keep watching and, and try and find like some, some examples of rotating out of the play. So I made a I made a misplay here by jumping for this, right? So we're gonna watch this. So I've hit the ball, right? And you see no legs there. So I should know that my work here is completely done. Instantly, turn around and I've done the right thing. I turned around, I've started rotating out the play. But do you see the mistake that I made here? Instead of staying grounded and staying out of the play, instead I turn back in, which is terrible. It just wastes time. Another thing in 3v3, guys, okay? You want to try and stay grounded as much as possible. You want to try and jump at the last second. Like, you don't really want to be pre-jumping a lot in 3s. It's not very effective. Right, so watch this, watch this. So I get demoed. Spawn back in the play. Throw hits it. I'm in a safe space here, I'm in a good position here. And you see that Noli hits it. So you see that... I'm doing nice wide rotations. Um, so this is a really key thing. This is sort of to do with rotating out the play as well. So when you rotate out the play in 3v3, right? We'll try and get a good example. Right, so we're gonna watch what Noli does here. Noli... So you see that we get a goal here, right? This is what you want to be doing in threes. So, watch this. Noli goes in makes his play, right? Doing his thing, he's doing his thing. This point, that he's done. His work here is done, we can all tell. So what does Noli do? Instantly rotates out the play, beeline straight back, all the way back, gets the corner boost, and this is exactly what you should be doing with your team in 3v3. 3v3, sustaining pressure in 3v3, is all about the one, two, three system. The first guy goes, rotates out. Second guy's turn, he goes in. At this point, the first guy should always already be leaving the play, already be coming out the play. Then the first guy goes behind the third guy. Then it's the third guy, it's his chance to go after the second guy. And this this is the whole system that will keep repeating itself if you can sustain pressure. Rotation in offense is all about sustaining pressure without creating any risk for your team. So you want to instantly rotate out the play you don't want to stick around unless you feel like you have unless you feel like you have to. That's uh, some general advice. Keep watching this. See that Noli is, you know, he's staying out the play. Noli's staying as a third man here. See that me and Thor are going. Me and Thor are challenging. So what does Noli do? He's just staying. He's not he's not beelining up. He, you know, you see he's staying in the goal. This entire time, right? Me and Thor are ahead of Noli. So yeah, he's just he's just being passive, he's waiting. Really good play. <laughs> really good play, by the way. It would have been good if he had, but you know, it works. 
That's a really important concept to 3v3. We'll watch us out here. See what your set's doing. Okay, so the next topic that I want to go over is using boost management to always be relevant and always stay in the play. In 3v3, right, people tend to go for big pads too often and something interesting is that generally the be the, like the, the highest people, the people with the best stats every single season in RLCS generally seem to have a high average boost. So the, the more boost you can keep, the much like much more effective player you can become. So this is something, this, is a, this would be the only like training drill this video. I'll show it right now. So this is like the training drill for you guys. So we'll use uh, we'll use limited boost here. I just want you guys to practice in free play, right? If you're gonna go and practice boost management, just go like this. Practice going supersonic around the pitch and just going like this. And this is called pad lines. This is what I would call it, pad lines. It's sort of, so let's say, okay. So the ball's in the corner here. All right, let's see, I wanna make a play. I hit it over here. So I'm rotating out the play. So I'm rotating out the play. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you see that I've got 84 boosts. So in 3v3, right, you actually don't really have to take big pads as often as you think. Just try and assess the situation and think, okay, so if I'm going to go for one of my opponent's boost pads, I'm going to go for a boost pad, am I going to be taking myself out the play by a long margin? If the answer is yes to that, you might want to have second thoughts about doing it because you, you, you don't want to... Let's do another example here, right? Let's say we're hitting the ball and, you know, we, we've hit over here, right? So in this... Imagine the ball's there. In this moment, I've hit over there, right? My teammates are behind me. So I got the ball. I hit over here. Now, I could go all the way and take their boost. But by me going all the way over here and taking all their boost, right? I'm taking myself out of the play by a long margin. So you need to assess the situation. Now, sometimes you might want to go for their boost, but instead, you can just do this. And look, supersonic, 100 boost. And you're rotating out the play, and you're keeping yourself relevant because you're, you know, you're, you're taking the most efficient route, and you can turn around and then use your momentum. And this will lead on to the next part of the video, the third part of the video. I think I'll just break this whole video down into just three parts, which is sort of rotating out the play. The second part is using those pad lines. And this is going to be the third part, guys. Using momentum in 3v3 to challenge the ball. So we're going to try and find some examples here. Right, guys, so we're going to watch Thor right now, okay? And I want you to just watch, so I'm going to explain this. In 3v3, you want to try and be moving basically supersonic speed. You want to be moving at a really fast velocity when you're rotating. So watch this. So watch this. Just watch this. So Thor's made the play. He's rotating back out. Great thing to do. He gets a corner boost. It's a glitch on the replay. Why it didn't show before. He's rotated out the play. He's went all the way back. Now, I know I said before, you don't really want to be taking big pads a lot of the time. You want to be going for small pads. But in this situation, it's completely fine because he's not really taking himself out the play any more than he already would be doing. And there's not a really effective pad line. There's only about four pads he could have got. It's more about when you're rotating out from their half, you can just take uh, all the pads coming back. But anyway, so watch this. We'll watch it one more time. So watch how much momentum Thor is, is uh, look at his velocity. Look how quick he's going right now. See how he's going supersonic, right? So he's rotating back into the play with lots of momentum, which means that he can challenge the ball really easily. So for example, if you went, if you were rotating at the play, right, and you turned around at the halfway line, then you would be closer to the play, but it means that you would be entering the play at a slower velocity because you're coming from closer and if you're going in full speed the ball might just go past you. So do you get what I mean with these nice wide rotations? Wide rotations, okay? And look, supersonic, he's supersonic. Loads of momentum, hits it to the wall. Okay, yeah, he goes again and look at that. Like honestly, this entire play, right? This entire play just came from the fact that Thor was coming in from a really far away angle Nice wide rotation and boosting in really quick and see his boost management. So he's got 100 boost. He's got loads and loads of boost to make a really nice play here up and down the pitch. So he went all the way from the corner and he still had 40 boost before he got demoed. So 
This is the whole kind of point of this video, guys. It's sort of combining all the three points that I've said to make you an amazing 3v3 player. And honestly, if you just listen to this advice and you can implement this to your game, this will make you improve quicker than anything you've heard before. Honestly, it will. Watch this. See that, remember guys, boost management is really key, right? So Thor picks up the large pad. But see that you get, okay, you miss a small pad. You got this one. So he's at 97 boost, basically 100 boost. Keeping it really, really high boost. So yeah, hit out to him. He's already got a little bit of momentum. He's got enough momentum. Look at this, right? Why did Ashaw get beat to the ball here? Because look. Look where Ashaw's teammates are. Ashaw cuts into the play. Look, he's cutting back in here. Ashaw's getting greedy. Look how close to the play he is right now. But you notice that he's so close to the play that he couldn't go supersonic because it just wouldn't make sense. Y you understand what I'm saying? That the angle he's approaching from is so close that he has to stay at a slower velocity, right? So you see that he's pretty slow right now. And you see that Thor is Thor's coming in from that, that wider angle. He's turning around and coming into it. So Thor's coming in from a wide angle, but Astral is cutting in. And you see that he just gets destroyed to this ball. You know, Astral is one of the quickest players in the world, but it doesn't matter how quick you are, it matters how you rotate. So Astral just, just gets beat to this ball, just because he's cutting in rotations and he's he's too slow to it. He's, n he's not got any momentum. See how, see how slow he is right now. He's got no momentum coming into the play, which means he has to react. Really, like, at the time. Thor's coming in with momentum. So, yeah, Thor went for their boost here. Thor could have probably just, instead of going for their boost, so could have literally just one pad, two pad, three pad, four pad, five pad, six pad, seven pad, eight pad. And he would have been back post much quicker. But you see that Tho, you see that Tho uses really wide rotations. And then, um, you know, he's, he's always going really wide at the play. But this is actually a really effective strategy because his momentum is always really going fast. And the, you know, he, look, see that? He's, he's quite, he's he quite now, right now Thor's a second man, and he's quite far out of the play. Like, he, you know, he's not, he's not as close as Astra was. Astra was literally all up in their grill. He was in the box. See that Thor's quite far out of the play. He can enter in with lots of momentum, and look, he wins the ball. You see, you starting to see this, guys. Is it starting to click for you guys? It's starting to click now. The key concept of 3v3 is just... Rotating out the play, having good boost management, having good velocity, momentum, whatever you want to call it. Wide rotations coming into the play. But see, see how fast Thor's going right now. Thor's going really quick. Supersonic, 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 supersonic. Not supersonic, but he's still going really quick. And watch this. Supersonic. Right now. So, yeah, it was a couple seconds he wasn't supersonic, but you see he's still going really quick. And because he's going so quick, you can you can you can uh, challenge really fast. So if you want to become a really effective three v three player, really improve your three v three game, you should really listen to this advice. And when you're in game, practice always having high boost. See Thor right now. Thor is really really good at doing this. Another player that is really really special at doing this is Alpha Fifty Four. The reason why Alpha Fifty Four is such a lethal threes player is because. He's always going fast. He's always, you know, he's always rotating wide out the play. And he's always using his momentum and he's using his boost management. And now, you know, Alpha doesn't have perfect boost management and neither does Thor either. So, you know, you don't have to be perfect at all of these things. It's just sort of like combining them together. So we'll, we'll watch this. So we'll go back a little bit. So I'm, I'm making a play here. I shot it. So you, th you can see what I'm saying, guys. Thor is pretty far out the play here, he's not too close to the play. Coming in with momentum. The further back you are, the more time you have to react to the play. You can assess the situation better, the more momentum you can use. Thor so tried to get a pass middle, it didn't work. It's fine, it's fine. See that Thor's not a player that picks up a lot of small pads, but you know, the, the, point, the, the point still stands, the point does still stand. Look, wide rotation. See how wide he's coming in here? Nice wide rotation behind his teammate. He's a little bit close to the ball here for comfort, but it's fine. Because look, he's turning around again. And see, look, watch this, watch this. This is what Thor's really good at. Coming in the play with momentum. So, I think Thor would have won the ball here, right? Thor would have won this ball if he came in a little bit slower to this play 
and then right now you start you boosting and going supersonic. Watch. If Flo was supersonic, he would have won this build. Do you guys agree with that? If Flo was a tiny bit further back and he came in a little bit quicker, he would have easily won this ball. So do you guys, are you guys really, I hope you guys get what I'm saying. I hope this tutorial makes sense. Wide rotation, keeping momentum high. It's kind of awkward for him here, but he's staying wary. So yeah, this isn't, this tutorial hasn't really been about defense so much. It's just more about kind of offense and 3v3. So yeah, we're going to summarize this again. I hope this guy's, I hope this helped you guys as well. Let me know. What have we went over in this video? We'll summarize it one more time. Rotating out the play. I'm clearing the ball. la di da di da I'm going to flick it. Yay, I'm cool. Okay, we're going to rotate out the play. Small pad. Get all the small pads. Always just rotating out the play. Okay, like, let's say, let's say... Okay, the ball's here. Okay, I just 50 50 the guy. Imagine I just beat him. 50 50 another guy. So I've, I've done two 50 50s. Rotate out the play. You rotate this side. You rotate like this. Always rotating out the play back to your goal once you're done. Right, number two. You want to be retaining high boost. So you want to be keeping a high momentum most times and retaining high boost. So practice getting small pads. Just go on free play. Look at the pad lines, right? This pad, this pad, this pad, pad. Pa practice power sliding. Practice just doing this as quick as possible. And then go for different lines. Okay, let's, we want to go for this. Like, literally only practice getting small pads. Until you, until you know where every small pad is off by heart. This is one of your best friends in 3v3. Number three, we're going to use a combined skills of one and two. Let's do an example here. Right, so we're going to flick the ball. Okay, we're going to rotate out the play. Get every single small pad. I missed one there, but yeah, we're on high boost. Rotate, so you want to be rotating nice and wide out the play all the way back and then you want to be turning around coming back in with lots and lots of momentum supersonic far out the play but mainly just high boost and you got lots of momentum and then challenge the ball and you'll probably win it so yeah i hope this helps you guys let me know what you think about this tutorial and when you're playing in threes try and try and just always have this on your mind and this is going to make you a really great teammate. This will make you a much, much better TV3 player. This will elevate your TV3 game to that next level. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Thanks for watching. I will be doing more TV3 tutorials in the future. I'll be doing more tutorials. Speed flip tutorials. I need to do that. I'll make a tutorial on communication in TV3. I'm going to make a tutorial on probably defending in TV3. But this is just sort of the most basic rotations for now. So yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Much love. Thanks for supporting the channel as per usual. See you later, boys.